the question for today is how to uh, modify a compound of a different uh, B spline surfaces. In this case, we have this randomized plane and the other one, and we want to get uh, in the uh, surface which uh, has changes along the border of both faces. How we can do this? So let's start. The first thing what we do. Um, in this case I have three planes with some randomness and they have three common edges and um, this is the defined structure of the planes. So and to start the editor first I select the three faces and start the multi-phase editor this way. Um, in this case I hide the maps. I do not need them at the moment. Uh, I get a multi-phase object and I see here the main control points on all sides. And uh, to see more information I first create for this uh, uh, network a B grid and I hide the multiphase. Uh, hiding the multiphase uh, helps me to speed up the calculation because I have seen uh, if I calculate the phases uh, it takes a long time and it's not a really good idea to do this in the editor dialog. So I only display some of these uh, ISO curves on my faces. And the first thing what I do is I select here uh, a pole or two poles. And I can say set selection to this and I see the borders uh, where the impact of this control point is. And now I can change the coordinates. I can say I change the uh, Z value and so I can get some heights and I can scale it and I also can change a bit the X coordinate and the Y coordinate and I say apply and so the surface in this case has changed we can look back to the real face and we see we have two mountains here so the next thing what we can do is we can select uh, some control points on different faces. In this case uh, this point belongs to this, the surface here, this to the other and this is a common point of both uh, surfaces. I set the selection now to these points once more. So, uh, I reset the dialog. So in this case, all transformation is reset to zero. And now we look here from this perspective and uh, now I can change the Z value, goes up, and I can change the Y value in this direction. And also we can scale it to see a little bit more. So we have the transformation here in the line model and we apply and it's done. The same we can do uh, also here on this side. That means I can say I select this, reset the dialog and in this case it may be useful to uh, go down the direction and to go positive x direction inside the object so we get a hole on this place here and we apply it and also we can take this point which belongs to all three um, surfaces uh, set the direction and we say a negative x value a negative y value and positive z value so we get this mountain here and we say apply and at the end we can look at the complete so face, I close it and we see this is the result. 
uh, to compare these were the starting uh, phases I hide the grid now for the moment and the poles and so I see I have done some changement here on all three phases we also can remember that we here created a whole inside and if we uh, hide a plane we can see the gap here here's the same okay uh, next step what we can do or the, the, the last step is we can uh, use this object make a copy of it and from this copy we go to the draft workbench and here we can downgrade it so in this case we have now all three phases again modified on any places where we worked uh, have changed we have tangent constraints uh, and for this uh, ages I did not uh, forced a uh, tangent constraint at the beginning of, of uh, the experiment but this is the way so I can uh, change the interfaces which are connected by a common edge the only restriction is both uh, interfaces or uh, surfaces must have the same uh, structure in the NURBS that is we can go back one more to uh, curves workbench so and we can display the information so we s can see here the structure of these objects <laughs>